water, they say, is life. For the absence of clean, portable water spells doom for health, hygiene, and safety. Nima Memorial Care Foundation is committed to the provision of safe, portable water for educational institutions and communities where this most crucial source of life and well-being may be lacking. And since its inception, the foundation has sunk over 20 modern boreholes and built water dispensing facilities across Nigeria, from Lagos to Kanu, Ogun, Kwara, Adamawa, Kaduna, Niger, and so on. Because of the work we do at Nima Memorial Care Foundation, thousands of children in the farthest riches of Nigeria can now grow and learn in healthy spaces. Nima Memorial Care Foundation was established to support children and the less privileged and orphanages across the country by providing clean, portable water within schools and other community facilities. Nima's journey began at the tender age of 12, fueled by a passion for lending a helping hand, being kind to her schoolmates, young children, and um, even in the family. And we used to call her mother of the house, mother of the family, because of the way she cared for everyone. And um, she was very good with um, English language, English literature, which she developed herself in by helping children with their education in terms of reading, maths, and literature. And um, she had this very uncommon passion for children. And um, that's how she started. Initially named Curated for My Care, CMC Foundation, and founded by Nimotalahi Motunrayo Alake Fashikbe, who unfortunately passed on in 2022. Nima, as she was fondly called, was born May 1st, 1993. She grew up in the UK, a graduate of creative writing at the University of Roehampton. Beyond creative writing, which she was passionate about, Nima excelled as a makeup artist, first at MAC Cosmetics in the UK and thereafter as an entrepreneur on her return to Nigeria, working with some of the country's biggest music stars, including Davido, Rema, Ladipo, and so on. Nima's passion for helping others, especially those who were not as privileged as she was, sprouted as early as age 12. She started this initiative from England and then she decided she was relocated to Nigeria, that she was going to be better off helping children in need in Africa, particularly Nigeria, where she was based. Always lending a hand, always going over and beyond for her schoolmates, always willing to help around the house, a quality that earned her the alias mother of the family. It was purely late Nima's idea. Like I said, she started this from when she was 12 and then graduated to registering with um, some agencies when she was about 16, um, teaching children in the community. And um, all I did was to give her the full support as a mother. Upon her passing, Nima's legacy and work through her foundation was preserved and energized. CMC Foundation was renamed to immortalize her life, work, and passions. Nima loved life, loved to help people, and loved creativity. The foundation is now known as Nima Memorial Care Foundation and is managed by Nima's mother, Zainab Muhammad Abdul Malik, a veteran journalist and a passionate advocate for children's rights and the welfare of the less privileged in Nigeria. To lose a loved one is not an easy journey, but to the glory of God and my faith, particularly my faith has helped me, 
And I believe in one thing, if you lose a loved one, you have not lost the person totally because all you can do is carry on with whatever the person was doing in their days, carry on their memory and um, whatever job they were doing, what they loved doing basically. And that has given me solace in the loss of late Nima. From Islamic faith, you don't challenge whatever God has prescribed for you. Yes, he doesn't prescribe bad things, but we've come from him and we're gonna go back to him. Under her leadership, the foundation has supported educational institutions in over 12 states across Nigeria, providing modern day borehole facilities and safe drinking water provision for hygienic use at school premises and also in rural communities, whilst also donating textbooks, clothing and hygiene products. I'm following up her dream, which is keeping me going. And um, I'm just seeing it as she's still alive because of the things, the remarkable things that she did. And um, that has helped me. Nima always saw the best side in people and the potential in people, especially children. She was super dedicated to empowering and uplifting children in underprivileged situations. She believed that education and empowerment can help to uplift children from any cycle of poverty or adversity that they're facing. And I'm so glad that through her foundation that we've now started in her name, we're able to push that passion forward and do what we can to build up the community and build up a better future for the younger generation. In Lagos, Nima Memorial Care Foundation has its footprints in Majidun Senior Secondary School, Ikorudu, SOS Village, Isolo, Bar Salam Orphanage, Ikeja GRA, in Kwara State, Ile Alapala, Niger Street, Ilori South Local Government, Muslim Cemetery Community, Ibabi Local Government Area in Kaduna, Masalasi, Bosnia, Kofan Kona, Kuguro, Zaria, Kaduna, and the list goes on. All these projects have been achieved through the exceptional commitment and financial contributions of the board and management of the foundation. So far, with this project, we've spent a lot of money to the tune of, say, 120, 150 million. It's been a very tough journey because um, we've um, campaigned, we've aggressively approached sponsors so that this legacy can carry on because that was her dream. We've done boreholes and um, we've also helped girl children with um, hygiene facilities like during their M cycle, we've provided um, the basic needs for them and educated them. But predominantly, borehole water is life has been what we've been focusing on. We've done for communities outside of for less privileged children. We've done for communities at large, both north and the west and this has cost a lot of money. So this is why we're asking for more help and for more people to come in as um, voluntary supporters, voluntary donors, so that we can carry on more of these jobs. Every year on the 2nd of March, the foundation holds a broad-based stakeholder engagement through symposiums and conferences to identify needs of disadvantaged communities across Nigeria, as well as an assessment of social welfare needs of underprivileged children and people in underserved parts of the country. These annual meetings have been robustly attended by representatives of various government institutions and numerous child care organizations. This reading thing, not because we want to furnish them, but we have to show them that reading is where they get to see a world bigger than the world where they are now. I don't know how you're going to take this, but I feel the urge to say it. 
Just stop giving children motivational books to read. Let them read literature, let them read art, let them read history. Let them read things that will really, really shape their imagination. Not how to do this confidently yourself. You don't know. They will develop the confidence. What they need as children to be safe is to have the lexicon to express themselves. To know that they do not need to shout to express themselves. They do not need to cry. They do not need to run away. They do not need to lie. That they can explain what they want. Outcomes of these deliberations are documented in a communique and delivered to relevant agencies, both in government and civil society, to allow for more effective and efficient interventions. It was a fantastic event, well attended. Our topics chosen were good, uh, and uh, it took us back to all activities that Nima did when she was alive. I would say we're actually blessed to know an individual like uh, uh, Nima. She was selfless impacted on so many lives and uh, I'm amazed at the strength that our immediate family have to carry on especially our beloved mother Aja Zainab who is in charge of this foundation right now she's my sister uh, I'll say please keep up the good work Nima's work should be carried even all across uh, all across the nation or outside the nation as well I'm proud to be associated with uh, this organization. And uh, we keep praying and, uh, and we inspire others as well. We, we pray and uh, together we let uh, Nima live on. She was an amazing person. She was not only just my sister, but someone that I could speak to, someone that I could open up to, I could ask about any type of problems. She was overall just like the perfect kind of person to be around very calm, very connected, and always kind to everybody. Um, charity was literally something that she was always doing as well. The need is enormous, and the urgency cannot be overstated. Thousands of communities across Nigeria, with millions of people, especially children, need our intervention, and your generous charitable donations and support will no doubt make a tremendous difference for them. Financially, the government has not supported. They're yet to support their promising, but we haven't seen anything yet. But in terms of um, attending the programs, yes, they have attended and they've made um, reasonable commitments to giving us every support that we need and they've embraced um, the charity. We invite you to join hands with Nima Memorial Care Foundation and together we can continue to provide care and safe spaces for people all over Nigeria. What I'm telling the government and what I will continue to tell them, they need to stand up, chin up for these children, shoulder as much of um, their responsibility, give them the support, create like um, a club for them where you can have activities, skill, empowering them, educating them and making them feel loved. The general public, the government, everyone is aware of NEMA Memorial Care Foundation. On behalf of NEMA Memorial Care Foundation, I wish to appeal to both um, national and international sponsors to come to our aid so we can achieve the dream and the goal of NEMA because she was out to help the children in need. She was out to help the community, both um, in terms of provision for um, clean water, hygienic water, mm -hmm. education for children. I would like to call on every soul to please come to our aid. Give us all the support that we need. To donate and support Nima Memorial Care Foundation, please email cmcfoundation0593 
at gmail.com or call plus 234-811-273-8706. Visit www.nmcf.ng to see more about how we are curating care and safe spaces for children and the vulnerable all across Nigeria. Thank you.